So fun fact about Tori, she has a really unhealthy addiction to eyelash extensions. And I oh. tried to wean her off of it because she had them on for about four years straight. I took a break. I took a four month okay, break. Okay, but listen, she is a true <laughs> addict. So she finally stopped wearing them. And then her birthday was in the summer. She's like, you know what? I'm going to get my eyelash extensions back on in for the summer. That's very fair. And I go, no, 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 no. You're an addict. Like, you're going to put them on and then you're going to get addicted again. Like, it's hard when you take off your eyelash extensions. You think you look really crazy. And I go, you're going to keep on doing it. And she goes, no, no, no. I promise. Just one round only. And now we're on yeah. what round five since then? But to then? be fair, I've 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 refinagled and I'm no longer you, paying for them because back then I was paying like two hundred dollars a pop every yeah, time you. I was getting them done, which yes was running out of budget for the eyelashes. <laughs> and so now it's more like oh, I will work with people that are building their eyelash companies, and I uh, sh she's an her. addict. <laughs> excuses, excuses. How Let's were your eyelashes when you took them off? I have like none. They're nubs. It's like it was hideous. a problem because they are addicting. Yeah, they're so addictive, and I have nubby eyelashes now, and I'm not interested in that. Because I have so like three left, and I'm like waiting. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. But then like Revolve Awards, and I'm yes. like, nah, I gotta get them again. I There's know. always a reason. I'm just saying she is an addict. Enough talking. Let's roll the <laughs> intro. Well, welcome back to Potty Talk, the, the podcast, podcast where, where we shit talk, talk ourselves. I'm Jack. And I'm Tor. And today we have a very exciting guest on. We have Allegra, Allegra Shaw. Shaw. You Yay. may know her from her YouTube channel, fashion, Instagram, blogger, entrepreneur. She runs and owns Uncle Studios. She does all the things. What title do you prefer? Yeah, what do you go by? Um, Can you put yeah, one title on? I don't I know. I just... Entrepreneur, say. content creator. Entrepreneur seems like very, like... Like I'm an investor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I, I say content creator yeah. and, and I say owner of Uncle. Yeah. Just because like it's easier. And you ha are co-owning that company. You have a partner in that? I do, yeah. I actually have two business partners oh, in amazing. that. Um, but Sharin, who is my like, you know, my side by side, she runs all the operations. Fabulous. Yeah. Crazy. So let's go all the way back to the very beginning. Tell mm -hmm. us how Allegra Shaw became Allegra Shaw. How did you fall into the YouTube world, the content creator world? Yeah, how did it all start? YouTube. Oh, YouTube was so good back then. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. days. so wholesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, I started YouTube in 2011. Oh, so okay. a long time ago. A long yeah. Time ago. Like, I, no, beginning of 2011. Yeah, I just was watching it. I liked it. Yeah. It was like a weird community online that like I don't think a lot of people were into. Totally. Mm -hmm. um, so I started, so I was just like, hey, I'm going to just film one video and put it up. So I did that. And then like a few months later, I put up another video. And I kind of just did that for like years, wow. pretty much. So I did that all through university. And then after university, I applied for, I don't know, 150 jobs and got no responses. Yeah. And I was like, hey, well, like people are doing YouTube a living i think at that point i had like twenty thousand subscribers like just still a lot at that still time. a lot but like yeah. for how long i've been doing it like not really you right. know like um so but you hadn't gone like balls to the walls like, no. you were just releasing videos as you please and like not great videos <laughs> like fair enough are they archived or are they still public all the old some ones? are still public because i think they're pretty funny but yeah. some are archived because i'm like no one needs to see that yeah <laughs> no i feel that I yeah feel and that. then i remember like i privated point. a bunch of videos and then some people were like where did those videos go i'm like don't watch them Why yeah I'm watching? I'm like that's not the content i need you engaging with <laughs> yeah so i um i just was like hey i'm gonna put out like three videos a week i'm actually gonna like make good content yeah and by the end that was 20 I guess it was 2015 I started doing that. And then by the end of that year, I was like, it was full a full-time time job. Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy. When mm -hmm. you were in school at first starting the YouTube channel, like back in 2011, 2012, were you telling people about it? Or was it still like a weird <laughs> thing that you were like secretive? And like, I know I was like I was so first. secretive. Yeah. Like, are you? Yeah. Sasha, who's here right now, is I've known her since we were in middle school. Like, we've been best friends for so long. Yeah. And she didn't even know. Like, I oh, didn't really? tell anyone. Gosh. I didn't tell my parents. Like, no one. And then... It started to like come out, and I don't know how it came out in school, but yeah. like it started to like unravel, and then like people made fun of me, and I was, and now like Isn't I got that ironic, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> I got pretty much bullied for it, and now people like everyone wants to start a YouTube channel. You everyone wants like, to get like, cool thing oh, to do. Like, uh, you're doing so well. You're like, bitch. Yeah, you're literally, like, literally yeah. bullying me. It's so funny, school. and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, yeah. Started right? in 2011. Yeah, totally. <laughs> 
That's so funny because when we asked Alana Rama that question when she was on the pod, she's like, oh, I was promoting it on Facebook to my fellow yeah. friends and family. I know, like, she right started the so late. Like, yeah, she started, so what, like 20, she started in 2016, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah like, I think 2015, yeah. Yeah. Like, but we, we've had a few. You, we had Dan Roto on the pod last week. I don't know if you know him, but we asked him the same question. He's like, oh, I was not telling people. Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of, yeah, it's like a common thing to not not share it maybe right well it's, it's so funny it's so true though back in 2011 like those early days of YouTube people still didn't really respect it enough or it wasn't a yeah. cool thing you also like it was that weird like couldn't really make money off of it no. so yeah. it was just like purely a hobby no it was yeah. like a weird <laughs> niche like a people who made videos by themselves for the like it was a weird a thing true at the passion time. project yes. yeah but that yeah. also I think it speaks though to like the longevity longevity of it because you see people now who are doing it because they know they can monopolize off of it true. make a career whatever mm -hmm. and it's like that's it's got to have the heart, baby, and like I agree, it, it speaks to you doing it for four years before you even knew yeah. it could become your career. Yeah, it kind of like makes me sad when people are like, "I'm gonna do YouTube because I want to make money," and I'm yeah. like, "That sucks." Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like everyone, I feel like who like started YouTube back in the day, like genuinely loved and enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and I think that YouTube can get so difficult that mm -hmm. if you're just doing it for money, it's so easy to just like quit because it. It's like it's tough. It's a grind. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. yeah, it's really tough, especially like the comments and yeah. totally. Do you find the comments have been like the hardest thing of dealing with it and sharing your life online? I think the like waves of putting putting like so much effort into content and then mm. no one watching it mm. is really tough. Yeah, and then you like make a beautiful video that you're so proud of, and then you know it's when you make a YouTube video you are the writer and you're the director mm -hmm. and you light the thing and you produce it and you do everything oh yeah you wear all the hats all the hats and then when you put it out and like there's something like one thing that went wrong and that's the one thing that everyone that focuses on, on you're like hey but what about the rest of the 20 minute video mm -hmm. yeah you know so like those things I found very difficult because I'm like come on and sometimes <laughs> the community I find and we've talked about this like the, the most like artistic or when I feel like I'm being my most self or my most like authentic oh I love this vibe or like the video you make that's kind of more artsy with yeah. the cool music and then you put that content out and then it doesn't resonate and mm -hmm. you're like oh like that's well, it hurts what I love. It's your true heart. Yeah like, you're like that's yeah. what I love but you guys like this like random outfit of the day that I'm not super excited about. Well, right. I say it all the time. Funny. It's the videos that you put like no effort in or you think that aren't even going to perform well, but you're that just like rival. throwing up to throw it up. Mm -hmm. And that's when that goes viral viral and gets so many views and so many comments and everything. You're like, why this one? Like mm -hmm. you can't you control it. You can never predict the game. Yeah. And I used to talk to my ex-boyfriend about this a lot because he was really involved in my YouTube and mm -hmm. it was just, I think, and I think this is with ev every artist, you know, yeah. like you have your mainstream videos like John Mayer talks about this. He's like, I had all my like poppy songs yeah. and those are the ones that, you know, hey, my your body is yeah. Wonderland. Yeah. Like those songs that, he's like, those aren't my favorite songs. Like his favorite songs are like the album he puts out that mm -hmm. didn't do well. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's like, it makes me feel better that like every artist kind of goes mm -hmm. through that and like feels that the way. videos that I like truly love on my channel aren't my best performing videos. Yeah, of course. But like, Sometimes I need matter. to do that in order to like fulfill myself and to oh, make yeah, as a creative, you need to do that. Stay sane. For sure. Sane. Yeah. What are those videos for you? Or like niche content or whatever. Like what what fills your I did like soul? I, anything. I love like finding a theme and like really doing that theme well. So like for a while I was taking different director styles mm -hmm. and like making YouTube videos out of them. Or just like I did like a back to school video that was like filmed very 90s cool you know like just stuff I love like your that. shaving video oh yeah I did recently did that, that was one. so like right, creative like that's and smart and like could have been like weird or whatever yeah and wasn't and it that was, was a brand like, deal and I'm so happy when brands let you just like be weird yes. I'm like yes it was so good like yeah. I watched and I was like damn that was and obviously my boyfriend too is like in the film world and so I feel like I have so much appreciation for that effort. I was like, this is so great. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. Yeah, so I think any video that, I mean, I think when you go through my videos, you can tell like mm -hmm. what ones are like my favorites. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what ones are just like, okay, these You're are like, good. Do but this. like, yeah. 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 Speaking of brand deals, do you have any that stick out? I know you said that one was really awesome because they let you take the creative control. Mm -hmm. Do you have maybe the not so beautiful ones? Like maybe the first brand deal? I or? do. I was like, like <laughs> tell me the worst thing. You don't have to name the brand. I yeah, don't ruin your career. No, 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 I won't. I did a brand deal when I was vi like, I was still in university, so I hadn't actually like really done YouTube as a job. I'd, right. I'd never done it. Brand deals were super new on YouTube, mm -hmm. and it was like, here's a script. Oh. And I was like, I'm not an actor. Yeah. Like, I don't memorize lines, and then they, and because I was still in school, I didn't like take it that seriously like, obviously there's fault on my end too like right. 
I w didn't have time to produce the content. Of course. My, I lived in a university house. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, it was disgusting. Yeah. And that, it was, like, a, a pretty long contract. They they rinsed me for, like, <laughs> they took a full advantage of oh, me. Oh, God. Like, the amount of money they paid me versus, like, what I was doing right. was wild. Aw. But I think there was fault on both ends there. Like, I wasn't taking it seriously, and... It was just so new. You and know? sometimes you have to go through those processes to even understand what your value is today. Yeah. Like, to yeah. know, like, hey, I know how long it takes to make this video, or hey, I know, like, all the mm -hmm. work that goes in the back end. So. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I think, especially at the beginning, brands can take advantage of how excited you are. Like, I remember back when I started, and, you know, you have a substantial enough following or views that you should be charging a rate. I had no idea what my value was. They're like, mm -hmm. hey, we'll send you free lipstick. Do a whole, like, dedicated, basically, commercial for them. At the time, I was like, I'm so excited to be getting free lipstick. Yeah. And then you realize through the years, you're like, oh, that's crazy. I know. <laughs> that I, I didn't see how a brand was taking advantage of me. Yeah. Sometimes it's pure intentions and not, but they know what they're doing. and a br Like, a brand knows what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Sure. But, like, I, I try to, that's, like, advice I try to give people. It's like, yeah. no matter what, like, you have value and, like, product, especially makeup, is, like, five cents to make. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, Do don't. Do not accept don't product take as a product for of your Not only, like, your creative mind and like what you're putting out there but like then your view is like you are making them money in the end totally. oh totally and Going if you're not directly to their company making money i just i know it's, it's yeah wild. but everyone gets taken advantage of you know yeah i'm sure it's interesting you, you might have an interesting perspective because now you obviously have your own mm -hmm. clothing brand now what's that relationship from the business mm -hmm. side working with influencers and doing all of that um it's i mean it's great because like i know probably what to more expect. what yeah. to expect <laughs> and i know like we get a lot of like I want to work with you, like, blah, 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 and I know what to ask for. Totally. I know to ask for conversion and yeah. to see, like, your back end. Um, but then on the other side, like, I think we are a small company, mm -hmm. and, like, we, we don't have a lot of budget mm -hmm. to pay people, and I think that we do pay people or will pay people when we see fit. But, like, I also think in this industry, you need to scratch each other's backs, and, like, I oh, am totally. a creator, and, like, I support where I can and mm -hmm. when I can, and I think that everyone needs to support each other. So, like, if someone asks for a favor from me, like, I'll, I'll, I'll usually try to do it if I can, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that that, it just, it needs to be, everyone needs to be supportive. So I agree. We'll try to leverage that a little bit. Especially on. when it's local, too. And, and I know you guys are huge on, like, the sustainability piece, and mm -hmm. I know you guys are, you co you make all your clothes here in Canada. That's correct, right? Yeah, just outside of Toronto, yeah. So I feel like that's a, a bigger portion of it as well. Like, we talk about, like, fast fashion and all these things. Like, why why wouldn't we want to support a local yeah. brand that's doing their due diligence to make pieces that are sustainable and good for the environment? Yeah, and then I also know, like, if I'm gifting someone something, I don't ask for anything in return, you know? Yeah. Like, I just gift and then I just, like, hope for the hope best. Hope for the best, mm -hmm. yeah. Unless well, someone's really the small. quality, yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay. You're going to post. <laughs> I need a post. I need one post. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also like believing in your in your company as well. You're like, hey, I, I believe in this product. I know the quality is there. Like, mm -hmm. if they truly love it and get it, then it's going to happen. They're right. going to promote it naturally. And, and that's why, like, I'll never just, like, gift people random stuff. Like, I ask what they want. Yeah. I ask their sizing, which yeah. I think some brands need to take note of, like, gifting people random clothes. Like, that don't fit them. That don't fit <laughs> yeah. them or isn't, aren't their style. Totally. Like, if you gift someone something that they love, they will post about totally. it. Totally. It's so Well, and that's the beauty. You get it because you've been on the flip side of that. Mm -hmm. So you have all that yeah. insight, which is so valuable. Yeah. So fascinating. We were talking about um, traveling. Obviously, you guys are on the road like third. 300 Yeah, you were just saying this is the longest you've been in Toronto for <laughs> yeah, this year? a month. I've been that's here a month. Crazy. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome and, back. But now I'm, I'm leaving right after this, like right Today. after this. Yeah. And I'm, like, kind of sad. Yeah. You know? I feel like I'm once like, you find a routine, then it becomes hard to leave it. Yeah. I mean, I'm literally leaving for two days. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but it's those, I find it's the short trips that are the worst, though. Yeah. Because you're traveling for such a, like, a long time for a short little, like, mm -hmm. return, and then those ones kill you. So yeah. what is that like? I mean, we're on the road a lot, too, but I feel like mm -hmm. you specifically, I mean, we ran into each other at Coachella last year, and... I felt like you were everywhere, oh, I was, everywhere. That was she really, was like, that was crazy. I'm looking at your feed, you're on this brand thing. I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's I was everything. away for over 20 days. Yeah, how was not that? Not in the same location ever. Like, really, it was, that was a really wild, I'll never do that to myself again. <laughs> I was like. Too much, because didn't you guys come from Paris or something? Or We came from. South of some, France? We went from Paris to Italy to San Francisco. Oh, jeez. So many times. To LA. To Palm Springs and then home, and it was just like 
<laughs> exhausting. It was wild. How many suitcases is that? Is that like one or do you have no, I had three? She's a fashion three. Three. <laughs> Yeah. I think I had two or three. It was a lot. It's actually But not, then when we were in Italy, we weren't just like in one place. Like we were moving we, around. I'm not kidding. I traveled the whole of Italy in three days. Like it was wild. Oh my god. Yeah, it was crazy. How do you find the balance of, you know, like whatever, creating the content, vlogging while you're doing all this stuff and then also enjoying it True. and like embracing the beauty of traveling so much. Can you find that balance or is it all work? I think you can. I think everyone works differently. Right. I I try to create content on the way on that trip. It wasn't really pro like it didn't really work out. So we just mm -hmm. like took a dedicated like morning and created all the content we needed to create. Mm -hmm. But I I think like you can do it. I mean, it depends on what kind of content you're creating. I think I think photos are like pretty easy yeah. to get video content. So do we. Everyone's like, it takes me five hours to get an Instagram. I'm like, why? Like, no, it takes like, yeah, just minutes. three minutes. Yeah. It could be three minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And it's live. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. I, 15 minutes from taking the photo. Yeah. Totally. It's posted. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Instagram, I think, is... But there are some people who, like, are pro professional photographers. And True. Do that, and you it, know, and I get yeah. that, but, like, that's, that's not, that's not my world. content. Yeah. yeah. My Instagram <laughs> is not at that standard. No. So mine's no. iPhone. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> click, click. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I think you can balance it out. I just think you need to figure out what works for you, pretty much. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Balance is something we always talk about, and I feel like I struggle with it. I think it's hard, too, when you are, well, I mean, I can't even imagine being in your position beyond just your YouTube. I'm not good at it. I just think you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a way to do it. I'm not yeah. good at it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Do yeah. you always feel like you need to be on the clock? Like, I, I personally feel guilty if I have an hour off and, like, I'm, whatever, on my phone watching Netflix, just trying to relax. I'm like, oh, I should be doing this. Like, there's mm -hmm. always that overarching sense of guilt. And I feel like that's really common when you, you know, are working for yourself. Do you have that? I used to have that a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't so much anymore because I know I work so much that mm. like I'm okay with taking the time as long as I, like I have done what I need to get done yeah I feel okay like watching Netflix or yeah. like doing yeah. nothing or like we call it corpsing where you're just like lying in bed <laughs> and like because That's you so do good. also you do need to recharge and yeah. I think that using your brain all the time is super tiring and you're not going to be the best version of yourself if you aren't giving you yourself mm. that hour or whatever you need um yeah, it, I used to feel really guilty. Yeah. And I think that when, I mean, I'm single now, but like when you're single and you're like at home alone and you're just like, I just end up like working all the time. So I'm like, yeah. I don't know what else to do. And there's no one like pulling you. At, like, I feel like half the times I'm like pulled out of my work or I talk about like, how let's I, go for brunch with yeah, or whatever. You yeah. Know? And I'm like, like I don't my have boyfriend that will be like, okay, it's nine. Like, let's like watch a movie. Like, let's yeah. step away from. Mm, which I think is really healthy. And totally. I think that's great. Yeah. But. When you're alone, you're like, well, I guess Might I'll just as well. work until 3 a.m. Totally. Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. just me out here grinding away. Yeah. yeah. No, totally. Yeah. That's so, so I mean, we'll see. I don't know. I'm trying to get into a new routine. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, schedules 8 p.m. dates now. Like, get me out of the house. Totally. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, so on the pod, we like to talk about our kind of more embarrassing moments or the failures. That's the potty <laughs> talk. Shit talking ourselves since day one. Um, do you have an embarrassing story that stands out or something that you think our <laughs> listeners would enjoy? I, I do. It was so <laughs> embarrassing to me, but I, I don't know if okay. it'll feel embarrassing to others. <laughs> okay, so I was nominated for an award a few years ago, and... It, it, I didn't I didn't know it was like a big deal. I didn't I just didn't really know about it. So like I go and I win, but I'm on stage with like other people when I win. Okay. And right before I had I was like thinking about like who I was going to thank if I won or whatever, and then right before my boyfriend goes, "Don't thank anyone." Wait. What? And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm standing on the side of the stage and I'm like, "What what do you mean?" He's like, "Just don't thank anyone." And I was like, Oh my god, what? So then I go on stage. Because he wanted you to be like more thoughtful and like have a speech or he just... It, <laughs> in the end, I think he was saying like don't thank specific people because you're going to ramble on. Oh, oh right. So okay. just, just okay. a general thank you. Yeah. I took it as don't thank anyone. I Stop. deserve this. I know I did. Stop. <laughs> so I like get on stage and I'm like, they're like, would you like to, <laughs> would you like like to thank anyone? <laughs> and I go, nope. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly gonna cry because I'm like laughing, so but <laughs> it was bad, and everyone was just like Shocked. looking at me, and I was like, um, and then it's even more awkward because then you see kind of the room drop, and then you're and like, then I like said something after, like I made a joke, and then I like sat down, but then the worst part was that Murda Beats, who's actually famous, yeah, was sitting beside me, and I didn't know it was Murda Beats, and he goes, 
I want to thank God. I want to thank, oh. and I'm like, oh, I've made a huge mistake. Oh no! <laughs> so immediately you're like, that I was, was like, not the move. I'm an idiot. Oh no! Oh. Is there a video of it? Is this out there somewhere? Is it? No. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. God. I, I hope was you like, wrapped your boyfriend on the wrist for that one. <laughs> and then after, I was like, why the fuck did you tell me to yes. do that? Yes. He was like, I didn't tell you to do that. I just felt like, <laughs> don't thank like me and your mom. Like just. Just do a general yeah. thank you and like wrap it up quickly. How and I was like, do that? that's not what you said. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's hard. That'll throw you right off. Like, I right don't like before. when people say things right before I do anything live or anything. I don't want like a bird in my no. ear. No, it you sets need to be you off because then you totally lose sight. I had You're a like, full panic attack on stage. Yes. I was like, no one, no. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, that's a good one. And yeah, that the, is potty talk. The uh, Are you someone that like pre prepares speeches? You know, we'll be up there re revolve awards oh. next week. Like, if you win, are you gonna have a. I'll have like a general idea of yeah. what. Because I'm not. I'm great. that way. I need to prepare something. Yeah, I'm not great at just Ooh. like Sorry, going off the fly. Tight. I'll say yeah. something really stupid, you know? Yeah. Because I, I, inside mm. I'm very awkward. So right. I'm like. Oh, and I'll say something. I don't know. I'll just say something <laughs> that I'm embarrassed about. Oh, 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 thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they don't thank no one. You yeah. Know? Like, there's yeah. definitely like the art of the speech and I really look up to people. I mean, I, I know I'm like a quite a good public speaker, but I'm definitely someone that likes to have those tidbits of like, okay, oh, here's my key You messaging. know where you're going. This yeah. is kind of the story. This is where I'm going. Um, but there's people that can just get up there and really kill it, it on I the fly. It. No, Same. that is such a skill set. I'm I working think. towards that. No, I just definitely Just like you win and then you're like, oh, thank you so much. I have a speech in my head. I'm or ready. do you think it really is just the act of like, we think it's so off the cuff because that's the, like, they're just approaching I'm it that sure way. But it, I'm sure it's it. very prepared. We just don't realize how much they Because they're good about. at it. Some or they have the speech writers. Oscars or the Oscars are yeah. phenomenal. Oh, like, those, those are, are very well prepared. prepared. Yeah. Yeah. They're actors. Yeah. I know. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love, that's what I love. Like, when they, like, are so, um, like, Viola Davis's speeches, like, always. Like, there's a few people that, that really stand, stand out. out. I'm like, mm -hmm. Get are. on that level when you guys accept your Revolve Award. You must. I don't, I don't know if. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm already yeah, nervous. I just think I'm not going to win, I know, so I'm I not even I'm preparing either, anything. So I'm, I'm like, Stassi Baby is taking the cake <laughs> in my category. There's no doubt. Wait, no, who's best friends with Kylie, though? Oh, yeah. I don't know what her... I think it's her and Kels, right? I don't know Father who the Kels. friend is. Oh, okay. They live together, yeah? Uh, okay, I didn't know. It's mm. definitely not Kylie. If it was Kylie, I'd be like, I'm not coming <laughs> I'm for to sure the not winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. That's so funny, too. Oh. Well, I know you were saying that you th naturally you're more of an introverted person, and mm -hmm. I think it's really... Actually, what I admire about your vlogs and your videos is you actually are so open and vulnerable, mm -hmm. and you, you really have like, a unique way of sharing all that so honestly online. Have you found sharing your life online? Has it been like a, like a kind of like a stepping stone to coming out of your shell? Or how do you navigate that being naturally a more introverted person? It's definitely weird, mm -hmm. I, but I am, I'm an only child. Well, I was an only child until I was 15. So like I mm -hmm. say I'm an only child because yeah. like that's how your I grew up. Your formative years. Yeah. Were. Yeah. And I think like I've always like talked to myself. Mm. So talking to a ca camera is like very natural <laughs> yeah. to me because it's yeah. just like, me having a conversation in my head pretty much. Totally. Just like outwardly, right? Yeah. So I think like I film a lot and then I when I edit, I'm like, all right, no one needs to really know that or whatever. But because it is YouTube, I feel like it's very like removed. So mm -hmm. I don't feel too weird about weird it. putting it online. Yeah. And I know everyone's human. Mm hmm And if someone's gonna like try to like shoot me down for like being honest and honest, real, like, then get off my page. Yeah. yeah. It's like whatever. You know? No, it's true, mm -hmm. and it, it is hard to be. Uh, well, not only, not only do I think people respect the honesty more. I think it's noticeable for everyone that it's really tough to sit there and like be vulnerable. Like I know you made a video when you and your ex boyfriend had broken up. Did was that hard? Like was it? Did you feel like you owed the community that like, or was it more for you? Was it like cleansing and you could kind of work through these through those? No, emotions? I, I definitely felt like I had owed them because I didn't introduce anyone on my channel mm -hmm. ever. Joey was the first person that I introduced, yeah. and. I felt like they deserved like an explanation because an he wasn't on the channel anymore, and they yeah. and they really did love him, and like yeah. they fell in love yeah. with him, and he, and he he's he's so great. Yeah. So I just felt like I needed like to, to tell, close that to yeah. be like this is what happened. Totally. And I also just wanted to let people know that like you can go through a breakup, and it doesn't have to be this like dramatic. I hate this no, person. No, you guys are so legit. He like tags you. He's like vote for. I'm yeah, like, this yeah. is amazing. No, it really is. This admirable. is goals because like, this like is we goals. do like genuinely respect and love mm -hmm. each other and. I don't want anything but the best for him. Yeah. yeah. I th think he feels the same for me. And totally. 
that's like I it, always it think about like Adam. That. People are like, oh my god, would you and Adam stop being friends? I'm like, I honestly think he will always be in my life, even yeah. if we were to break up. I genuinely believe that. Like. He, we, we'd support each other like mm -hmm. he's yeah like I think when you just jive like creatively and like passionately with someone you're like why would I not support you I think that's a maturity thing too like that's a very yeah. like newfound yeah. level of maturity yeah True. I maybe think if it, I was in high school I'd be like yeah bah. fuck you <laughs> and I think like it's not gonna happen also the wait week there, after. Is, sorry, there is sorry <laughs> it's take your kid to <laughs> work day <laughs> is it really take yeah. your kid to work day yeah these oh all, it is okay, yeah it's grade nine there are like 50 amount of teenagers Oh my god, is this how small I you look in grade it. nine? She's <laughs> like, that's so cute. She Wait, goes, that's a this micro is, shop. Is this how small There's you look cool in grade YouTube nine? Girls. Oh, this is hilarious. That's so funny. We oh say this god. all the time. We film at a fishbowl. It's like a glass wall, and it's very distracting normally, but today more than- This is a gift. Yeah, the this young is crazy. children got to pass by the fishbowl. <laughs> what did you guys do for grade nine day? I can't even remember. Oh, I, I went to my aunt. She's oh, a I CFO of Johnson & Johnson, and I got to sit in boardrooms Shut all up. day and like got to go on the corporate lunch. I thought I was a rock star. It was so fun. I think I took the day off school like I don't you didn't even go I don't think I did That's anything nice. I wanted my dad had his own company and I wanted to just like go hang out with him all day yeah. and my mom was an executive at a bank and she's like no you're coming you're coming and doing our take your kids <laughs> the corporate day. stuff and I was like are you kidding um, I was like no it. so I had to like go and like oh, no. tour the vault and then I ended up <laughs> the worst thing is I ended up working at that bank later and I'm like <laughs> it worked they, they got worked. It. they yeah. got me I worked there for three years and like oh god that's so I funny. was literally changed like that's when I knew I wanted to be like a girl boss I like wore heels I was I in grade it. nine Shut up. yeah and and my aunt like because she was obviously an executive she was like she pulled me out of the actual like take your kids yeah, to have like, a group a for group. like all the kids right but then she was like Tori is coming with me and then I got to go into all the meetings oh and, like, wow yeah, that's actually was like so nice. it was really impactful it on both impactful. of you guys you got a job in there and you are now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I clearly did nothing on my bring to get to work day and I think it's very telling did you study so. fashion in school or was that no I have an honors BA in history oh, oh yeah that's so fascinating so yeah. like, how did you navigate building out uncle studios and owning a business and like being <laughs> in the fashion world she laughs she just laughs well the fashion world to me is like so complex oh, scared very complicated mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. you do the fashion weeks I find them so intimidating I they would are just I literally find them cry I'd be like I'm done here like also I'm five one so I get a lot of negative she was looks. there the day that you had the worst day of your life she was at that party. I didn't see Allegra at I, that party. See, I was thinking I was talking to her when the worst moment of your life so happened. So I was that at this brand party in New York. I won't name the brand because I'm being friendly today. This was and this just past? Was this this in past February? Fashion Week in yeah. New York. It was in February. Though. February, yeah. yeah. That's you're right. when I saw it. It was you're February. Right. February. Yeah. And so we're at this party and I waited with Adam in this line for the photo booth. And I was just excited because like, I was like, oh, this is cute. It's a cool like fashion party. And like Gigi had Yeah, like a little portrait studio. studio. So yeah. Like so whenever I waited in this line for like a good 20 minutes because I was like oh I'll just get a cute photo with Adam and then we get in there and I like kind of sneak into like this box where they're doing the photo shoot when it's finally my turn and she looks me up and down and goes oh we're only shooting the models tonight sweetie and I wait they did that to me too oh wait, really? really it made they me that so to me. sad they go yes yes yeah did they no, it off no she goes not you yeah I was like okay no, but she was oh like my. really mean to me and I was so sad and I already know I'm short and not that skinny. So I was like, <laughs> ma'am, that is rude. <laughs> I just remember so she stormed up and like you grabbed me. You're like, Jacqueline, we're going. We need to go home. And it then we went so to our hotel mean. and like ordered room service. I yeah, no, it. if it she makes you feel better that because someone had brought me like I, I don't. Anytime there's like a photo yeah. wall, I don't go. Yeah. I don't really enjoy the pictures are never good. Like no, they're, they're always they're awful. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't go and then the woman who works for the brand like brought me over yeah. and then the photographer was like no 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 and I was like well Yo. this must make she's actually worse. like a fashion person and also that, so don't feel bad it also makes you feel better one time I sent my headshots into a makeup artist and then they <laughs> canceled the brand deal wait okay <laughs> so. this we need more info and I literally what? cried <laughs> yeah I would cry I yeah. would cry it was like a master class and they were gonna do my makeup and they're like we just need your headshots like send to them he's like a very famous makeup artist yes <laughs> And I sent my headshots in, and they were like, "Yeah, we're can oh, we're canceling shit. the brand deal." And I was what? like, "All right, I'm ugly." Well, that's a <laughs> slap in the face. And yeah. Jesus. And I was on the plane, and I was like, I, like one tear down oh, my I face. Oh, I would I would fully cry. Are you kidding me? 
it's weird because like in some ways I'm very used to rejection. I feel like we talk about this all the time. The film and TV world sets you up to think oh, yeah. that we yeah. will never win. You are always going to be the runner up. Like, so I grew mm -hmm. up with that mentality. I, n I was never really jaded by it, but for some reason the fashion industry, they cut deep, man. I don't they know really what do. it is, but they just make you feel like shit. You're like, I don't know what I'm well, doing I wrong. I feel like the difference, like whatever, if you're acting, you can, you can, of course, rejection sucks in any form. I think there's a beauty of, you know, growing up, like, getting used to that. And also, with but acting, you're like, okay, maybe I wasn't it's on. It's very removed. Well, yeah. Yeah, and, and you're like, I wasn't the that good that maybe. day. Or maybe I was off. Like, my they're just like, no, what you're look, they're yeah. looking for. You like, they're looking for a look. Yeah. Totally. And know? then in fashion, Whereas, it's just like, you're just fat like, and ugly. You yeah. lose. Like. <laughs> but for me, I find it more confronting when, you know, what we do, it's it's our name, it's our face, it's our brand, it's everything. It's truly, I always say, like, my heart is out of my sleeve all the time because if you don't like my video, that video was authentically me. Like, you just don't like me. Like, it's so much more yeah. personal. Mm -hmm. So I find rejection in this industry cuts deeper in general. Definitely cuts deeper because it's, like, you. Personal. But I do think that I have, like, I have, like, a YouTube front. Well, sure, we talk about this, too. Know. It's, like, our telephone voice. Like, right. Yeah, you have a YouTube voice. You the 2% yeah. yeah. part of me. Right. And yeah. I think everyone, I mean, all my friends are, like, hey, guys. You know, because, like, I don't talk like right. that. Yeah. But sometimes when I film videos, I'm, like, and you have to, I used to really just be myself on camera. Right. Yeah. Like, I was just actually myself. And everyone's, like, you're a bitch. You're boring. <laughs> oh, you're shit. monotone. It was misread. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I'm, like, I am monotone. And I'm not a bitch. I'm actually super nice. But, like. <laughs> I come across like that. It's I true. do. Fuck yeah. you. I'm yeah. actually nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm really nice. Fuck you. I'm so nice. Um, so I had to, I remember the video, it went, it didn't go like viral, but like it, a lot, got a lot of views and yeah. a lot of comments about how much of a bitch I am. Oh, geez. And then I was like, oh, I gotta like act. Yeah. Which is, it's not like I'm, I'm just over exaggerating who I am. Yeah. Totally. Well, you also know what reads better and you're being right. smart about the way that you're playing up your personality or certain parts right. of you. And that took me a long time to figure yeah. out. We're so. like actually the worst at this in the sense that I got feedback from my father about a, a thing we did recently. And he what? goes, you girls, you're just a fake. You're, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what, what was the feedback on what? I'll tell you after, but he was just like, it's just so contrived. And I was like, Dad, that's I'm a fucking actor. Yeah. Like, what, that's <laughs> what I'm good is. at. Like, it seems contrived because it is. Like, yeah. And then I'm like, I'm bad at being, like, My, authentic yeah. in myself because I'm just so, so fucking loud and, yeah. like, annoying that people think I'm being fake. And I'm like, no, I'm not even being fake. I just can't even I don't even know down. the normal version of <laughs> right. I'm, like, calm the down. opposite. I'm, like, yeah. so monotone that I'm like, okay, I need to, like, show that I have fluctuation in my volume. voice and I like yeah. smile you know like well that's but that's stuff. the same it's the same thing but reverse like for me I'm overly conscious especially like say if we do interviews and we have artists like I'm someone who naturally talks over people because I get so excited to talk to people and like mm. I start talking really fast and I cut people off and I'm not doing it to be rude but I'll get comments be like Jacqueline like shut up we want to hear what so-and-so has to say and I'm and naturally that's just how I am so now I have to be conscious to like sit still and people talk tell me to shut, somehow I cut off you. Yeah, because I'm being you conscious cut off of other it now. People and, then I cut off and now you're, it's yeah. But I'm working on it. Mm. But it's hard, it's yeah. Good. It's also, I think people don't realize, like, how, you don't, you don't know what it's going to come across on camera. Like, totally. They're it's not. so true. It's just, it's a weird, it's a weird situation being on camera. Well, it's a weird balance, too, to also then being receptive to some of the feedback and being like, okay, I'm going to, like, make note of that, but then also not letting comments dictate your personality and what sure. you're putting out. Mm -hmm. I find I don't <laughs> read comments as much anymore. Oh, really? I used to literally sit on my computer and read mm. all of them and it was getting very toxic. Very toxic for me. So <laughs> Sasha usually reads through the comments first and she's like, you're good. You can read yeah. them. Oh, that's good. You do but like that's actually really healthy. I feel better not reading them. Yeah. So I don't really anymore. Well, I don't and also think you don't need that in I your life. I was gonna say I don't like think you're putting it out there and yeah. then you don't need the feedback. I don't like, think anyone should be subjected to that much critique. Like that's not healthy to be reading it all day on Instagram or on your YouTube channel. I literally or, used to I would wake up, yeah. my alarm would go off and I would look at my YouTube comments mm -hmm. and it was like, this is unhealthy. Yeah. Because <laughs> your whole day is like, did I do that? Did I am I this way? Like, you know, you just think about Yeah. It's just not it's just not healthy, I don't no, think. No, totally. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about some, I mean, you've worked with every brand I can probably possibly imagine. Do you have a favorite brand partnership or a favorite trip that you've been able to go on or something that's like made this career? Yeah, we've been like talking about the special? crappy part yeah, of this. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. Like, highlights? what's the fun? What, what, what makes it redeeming? Or, the or accomplishments you're proud of? Trip-wise, the NARS trip. Oh, did you go oh, to Climax to, to, to Ibiza? Yes. Oh, was like the craziest shit I've ever been on. Like, it was uh. like wild. Wait, like, why? that was a mascara trip, right? It was for a the, mascara yeah. trip, yeah. So we went to Ibiza for like three days and Stop. like partied and like, <gasps> I, it was just like the, the most best. luxury 
uh, bougie trip. Jealous. Revolve Summer was yeah, like so, so incredible. We had so much fun. Um, I'm trying to think of other trips. There's one that I'm like thinking of the plane ride, but I can't remember. Like, the plane ride was amazing. <laughs> Where the destination yeah. the plane ride was. The KLM <laughs> like, plane, a KLM plane, business class. This is nice. <laughs> um, Oh, no, that was the Ibiza trip. Yeah, it was a great plane, too. Um, <laughs> the whole trip was just a highlight. Nars, great work. And great then I think, work. like, working with brands that when you really see eye to eye and they just, like, mm -hmm. let you be yourself, and I think that's, like, the best. I just, I love it. Yeah, and I feel like it's, it's lucky because it takes a while to get to that place where brands really respect, you know, your voice and, and how you want to bring it to life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's the luxury of, kind of I guess where we're all at now totally. but how do you feel about that because people talk about like being in Toronto and kind of getting up to the not top of your game but definitely like recognized in Toronto as as someone to you know look up to and all of these things have you thought about moving or leaving the city or yeah you know? this is always the question so when are you moving to LA that's the the number one <laughs> question and I will not move because I love my health care yes, yes. <laughs> this is what Jack and I say team we're Toronto. so team Toronto well, it's also like yeah. why would I want to go there and then I mean, not compete, but compete with everyone else. Like, I love living here. I love my friends here. My, yeah. I can work here. Why would and I leave And I love this? LA. Yeah. I, lo I love going to LA. But we get the best parts of it, and then we leave for the worst parts of it. Like, right. We get I the best of both worlds. I love Toronto. I think it's a great city. We don't have, like, any natural disasters that happen here. Yes. There's an ice storm once in a while. Shouts out to you. <laughs> you know, I have health care, and I, I love Canada. So mm -hmm. I think, like, I will travel a lot. Totally. I might move somewhere for, like, a year. Yeah. yeah but it won't be... LA. This is home mm -hmm. base. Yeah. Like, you know, Sasha and I were thinking of like going to LA for like the month of April. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I'm yeah. going to do that. Totally. But no, I, my, my family's here. My friends yeah. are here. I, I think this is a good this spot. This is the for spot. Me. Also, Actually. it's so iconic being always the token Canadians. There's only ever like two of us <laughs> or three yeah. of us. I know. And well, then then it's like you, you two are the only Canadians nominated for Revolve right now, right? I think so. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow. There you go. Super nice. exciting. We're representing Toronto. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so speaking of Sasha, I know you were saying you guys have been best friends since forever. Mm -hmm. What's it like? Like, how did the dynamic switch from oh we're best friends to work for me or like we how know to how it feels to work with oh, a friend? Actually, kind of hurt. I'm still sorry. sore from I'm our sorry. training yesterday. See, I physically abused yeah. her. That's where our friendship. Yeah. And work what does that relationship look like? Um, and she's also in the room. Just yeah, so yeah. yeah. Sasha's right there. <laughs> I didn't say work for me. I told Sasha we were out for dinner and I said, we were like talking about what she was doing and I said I might be looking for an assistant soon. And like kind of jokingly, kind of not, was like, you should you should do it. Like yeah. I trust you, I love you, we obviously get along. And then that was it, like continued on our night. Mm -hmm. And then a few weeks later she like texted me and she's like, okay, like I think I'm in. Whoa. And then we did like a Sasha. three month trial period because like obviously our friendship is very important. And yeah, right. you don't want to ruin that. Yeah, so we did like a three month trial and then she loved it and now we spend all day every day together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys don't live together though, do you? Pretty much, no we don't. <laughs> yeah. Basically. She lives around the corner. Oh, perfect. And I live by myself, so. Yeah. Amazing. No, That's it's good. so good. Yeah. And how long have you guys been working together now? A year. Wow. A year, November 1st, right? That's crazy. 15th. I actually feel like we should flip the podcast. We need to get you on. And you need I know. to tell the dirt about Allegra. Yeah. And that's Honestly, real Honestly, you talk. do. You actually do. <laughs> she knows the real tea oh, behind the scenes. Funny. Yeah, she knows I'm just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Lying in bed. The corpse pose. Yeah. The corpse pose all day long. That's yeah, so that's funny. too good. <laughs> Um, well, at the end of each episode of the pod, we like to play a game. It's called Roses and Thorns. Have I ever made you do this before? I feel like I made it no, before but I've I do this. I've done, I've done this game before. Oh, okay. okay, amazing. Wait, I also need to share a story that reminds me. The first time I met Allegra was when we were on the Glossier yes. brand trip like a few years ago. That's when ago. I first met Atlanta, too. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh. Actually, that's, was that the first time I met Atlanta? Actually, I think I might have met her a little bit before, but I got to know her a lot better there. there. But um, it was so funny. I always remember, like, Allegra was such an OG because I was underage in the States at the time. Oh. And we had a lot of things in our itinerary where we were going to, like, 21-plus oh places. And I gave places, you my ID, didn't And I? she gave me her passport for the entire week. Like, Wait, just, that's so nice. I'm such a bad person. No, but I was like, I would never trust, like, the fact, like, I would never give anyone my passport when I needed to get back oh, home with that. Fun. And she's like, just take it. I'm like, that's so nice. Really? I mean, you guys look close enough. I mean, it works. I literally offer people my ID all the time. Like, I'm like, did under you care? want my ID? Because I know that sucks when you're out and you can't drink do you know how sad that oh, is i, I just can't get in i couldn't even get in that's i was like embarrassed oh. that they're like oh we don't know if you'll be able to get in i'm, I'm like, sad that like, i, I can't drink you. they're sad they can't get in i just wanted yeah. to be there 
But yeah, I remember, true. I was like, wow, this girl is a, yeah, a I nice. I didn't even remember I did that. You didn't even think like twice about it. You gave it to me all week. Like, I would not have trusted <laughs> any, you didn't even know me. You're just like, yeah, take my passport. I'm like, see guys, I'm really nice. Good person, good person. <laughs> see? Oh my, no way. Um, okay. Don't acknowledge. <laughs> There's someone in the room for the YouTube viewers. Allegra will have no. He has a hot towel, are you? <laughs> I'm what sorry. It? It's a hot towel for you. Wait. I'm sorry. To <laughs> for what? It's really wet and hot. <laughs> it's, it's, I did not think it was going to do that. We'll have to okay, explain. Okay, you need to explain. Oh, jeez. This oh is my God. God. It's he should have left that. soaking wet. Okay. <laughs> just throw it. Wait. It's okay. We'll okay, explain. We need to explain. If you're watching on YouTube, it don't, just, I you know who just entered just did the room. That. So the long and short of it is that that oh. is Derek, and Derek, um, is he still in the room? No, I think he's left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he um, oh has God. come on, I was his intern when I worked here at Bell He Media. works here, he's the, um, okay. the, uh, yeah, I would hope, the he yeah. I would <laughs> hope he worked here, I'm like, <laughs> this random man. So he works here, he was a guest oh. on our podcast, but then this past week we actually were a guest on his show called The 10 Minute Talk Show, and okay. he made a joke during the segment being like, well this week ladies, I'm gonna come in and be a flight attendant and I'll deliver those hot <laughs> towels to He goes, I know you guys are needy bitches, like I'll come in, we're like, what? So and then we just thought, like, like, thought nothing of it, and this, and he did it. And then he came it. in with I dirty rags that, that were, like, <laughs> hot and warm and gross. That was How incredible. Did he make them warm? Did he put them in the <laughs> microwave? <laughs> They're Ew. hot. Hot. And the fact that he did that, knowing we have a guest on who he does not know, just like so He's bold. He's a bold man. There's no doubt about it. I wish he spoke because you would enjoy him. You know what? Breath. We said we wanted champagne and he definitely let us down on that. Uh, I literally said, don't bring a hot towel, bring me champagne. Oh, that was incredible. I'm, uh, the dedication that to was, the, yeah. the joke. That was good. That was I'm good. I'm so sorry. I, no, I appreciate that. You're so that. lucky you got to experience. I know. I really appreciate someone who really goes for the joke. You know? I know. Takes and like, how do you away. even, he literally, like, <laughs> like, okay, I'm like, well, I don't know what airline you're on. He just <laughs> walks in. <laughs> what airline are you on? Yeah, Delta that doesn't the, bow the, at me. Nars I can tell you that. Did you that experience on the plane? I don't think they did. I think, no, I think that was, that was luxury. That takes the cake. That's yeah. full luxury. Oh my God. That just made my morning. I cannot believe he committed to that. Jesus. I'm distracted now. We're, what were we even talking about? Glossier. Roses, roses and thorns. Oh, Glossier. yeah. We were going to roses and thorns. Anyways, great girl gave me your passport. <laughs> so roses and the thorns, we do one thorn, one negative thing from like, you know, past 24 hours-ish. Okay. Get it off your chest. Let it go. I know you're also a big into meditation, mindfulness, like mm -hmm. self-care, all that. So this will be right up that alley. Mm -hmm. And then two roses, two highlights from the past 24 hours, and then a rosebud, something you're looking forward to in the short term. We'll okay. kick it off. We'll, we'll yeah, lead yeah. the, you want to lead it off? Sure. Thorn, where am I at these days? I would say a thorn, yesterday like, you know a day where you feel like there's not enough hours in the day? Mm. Like you feel very like overwhelmed by like each step of the day? That was yesterday, there was just yeah. a lot going on. Um, but then the rose was that it was like actually a really good day, like even though it was very sporadic yeah. and I was literally all over the place, it was really good. Um, we hosted a little thing last night and like it's always just so nice to meet people that follow us and like us, like mm -hmm. we always forget that there is an impact. Like sometimes on social, I forget that there's real humans mm -hmm. watching me and like engaging and being nice and like enjoying. Well, when you meet those people and they're like so normal and just like you're like, oh, I would be friends with you too. Yeah. Like you and like connect. One of our um, one of our fans had like brought us Lush because she knows that we like like them. Like That's just so like nice. so nice. Thoughtful, and you're like, yeah. wow, people are just blessed. That's amazing. So that was a rose. Another rose is that oh, we're going to the spa right after this. Can't complain. <laughs> yeah. This wow. day's a little slower than yesterday. Thank yeah, God. Thank God. I'm very nice. excited. Um, and then Rosebud, looking forward to LA next week. Hopefully we bring home yeah. those awards to Canada. I'm we'll really see. looking forward to that. Remember, it's cold. thank people. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward thank to your you. thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to both of your speeches. Yes. That's hilarious. Um, okay, I guess for me, a thorn. Yo, we have, we have been doing this Nike training and it's always on Tuesday. So I feel my like every, also sore. every time we come back on the podcast, we're like, oh, we're so sore. But like my hamstrings right now are wrecked. Like I'm in pain. Um, I guess it's like a good pain, but whatever. I'm a little in pain. Um, a rose. It's like we talk about being fit all the time. But we're, we're like, like oh, we <laughs> don't even look fit. Yeah, that's so embarrassing. Like every day yeah. we're like, uh, Nike running a marathon. And it's like, I'm still like. You're like, where? Yeah. <laughs> um, a so rose funny. was definitely that hot, dirty rag situation. I hope, you know, if you did not watch this episode on YouTube, you need to go back and just watch that moment. Just look because at the clip. I'll put I can't like, that needs to be I'll like put the a cut time down. clip on the description yeah. so people can find it. That was just so shockingly incredible. 
Um, and the beauty was just like your that confusion. Was, I was really confused. Yeah, and that was <laughs> yeah. amazing. Um, Imagine like, we were in on it too, and we all just shut up. Yeah, <laughs> like accept it all. I did accept it, too. No, I was like, it was, oh. like, dripping it was, off. Yeah, it was it's dripping off. Coach right now. Um, I'm sending was, a fierce email as soon as we wrap <laughs> this to him. Um, another rose is actually having you, and I was looking forward to this. Like, yes. I find you so fascinating, Thanks. and I, like, yes. genuinely watch your content and, like, love it. So it's great to chat and dive deeper into all yeah. that. And then a rosebud. You know what? We're supposed to do yoga tonight, and I feel like I could use some yoga. Just eat a hair. Sorry. Oh, I thought I spat on you. <laughs> yoga. I'm just mm. forked on you. Yeah. Anyway, so those are my those are mine. What about you? Um, it's funny because normally I would have I think like a, like a lot of thorns to choose from, <laughs> <laughs> but I think I've had like a pretty good week. I always look at Sasha when I have to think of anything because I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. What are her She's, her thorns? Come you speak on. for her. You can come on if you would like to be <laughs> yeah. on the pod. Okay. <laughs> Thorn, maybe. It's been a pretty good like two weeks. It's been good. Yeah, I had like a really bad week a few weeks ago and then like since all oh, wait, of that same two weeks ago i had a mental breakdown i was crying i i almost cried in a meeting and oh, i i same. never like i always hold my shit like, yeah i'm very good and i was getting like berated in a meeting and i was like i'm gonna cry <gasps> yeah and I'm, that, like yeah i don't know what to the do worst feeling. i save it for once a year i have a breakdown like a bad breakdown but yeah. it's true the public breakdown is never the movie you yeah. have to somehow like, no, suppress, I was, like go to the oh, bathroom I'm, die i was like okay everything's fine so yeah good. um so it's actually been a pretty good two weeks no you know what my thorn is that I still don't have fucking furniture. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is I my saw your story. You're like, bed yeah. still. I my did. bed was on the floor for like four years. I was surprised you were upset about that. I was like, all I the lived. university, I, I lived on the floor. I just can't be that close to the ground. Oh. The, the dirt. Yeah, no, I, like I was living okay. with the dirt for sure. So I, I ordered a couch. It's coming. That is nice. great. I'm really excited for that. Um, and then my rose is... Did you leave all your furniture behind when you moved? I did, yes. Mm. That's so nice. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of it in the divorce. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. No, you know what? It so well, too. It was... It, it's good. I, I don't want it. Yeah, Technically, want yeah, I would not want it either. I'd be like, yeah. Contaminated. Be gone. <laughs> right. it. Yeah. So, I'm, and the couch I bought... I'm, that's my fucking Tell me it's one. the cloud. Yeah. No, no way. It's actually the cloud? Yeah. David yeah. Dobrik's influence, the power. Stop. No, but I mean, really, it's the Kardashians. They were oh, the OG true. cloud. Yeah. Who doesn't have the cloud? Oh, I, I, I don't know who has it. I just have sat on it. You just wanted it? it. Yeah. <laughs> I just went into restaurant oh. and I was like, wow. See, now you don't need a bed frame. It became the famous become because of the Kardashians. They, were they the ones that Because of famous? keeping up, they were always sitting on, on the, the cloud. cloud. It is So I got so a fake cloud, which... From where? West Elm, and it was the mm. floor model. It is, it is literally the cloud, but it doesn't exist anymore. And I bought the last one, nine hundred bucks, because I bought the floor model. Insane. As opposed to like, because I wanted the cloud, but it no, was the like cloud 6K. is expensive. It's expensive. I know. It's the same but though. It's like the big <laughs> cushions with the. Thing. That's her thorn now. Yeah. New thorn. Yeah. Let me tell you, I did not spend nine hundred dollars. I know I they're so expensive. They're thousands. They're, mm -hmm. Did but you, you have, have did you have to get a custom size, or were you able to get like one of the sizes that already exists? Okay, so originally I was measuring everything out, which I shouldn't be allowed to do. I <laughs> measured it out, and I was like, okay, I'm getting like the cloud sofa with right. the ottoman because it's okay. cheaper. Yeah. And I was like, it's gonna be great, blah blah blah. And my friend comes over, and he maps out the couch. And he's like, yeah, that looks like it'll fit. Is this the green tape on your floor? Mm -hmm. I saw on your story. Yeah, so <laughs> nice of him. There? And then so he nice goes, okay, let me just measure the like hallway. He's like, oh, that couch won't fit around the corner. And I was like, oh, I was no. going to buy oh my a gosh, really expensive that couch couldn't that couldn't get in. Couldn't get in. You can't return it. <gasps> no refunds. So thank God I didn't do that. And then I oh ended up buying like, the modular okay, one. Nice. So that will fit. But Wait, yeah. you never even think about that. Like fitting it through a condo like door no. frame and in the elevator no. and all that. I knew it would fit. I didn't even know if mine would fit in my elevator. I just prayed to holy Jesus. That and then I was like, also, if not, I will be doing Ross from Friends carrying this damn oh, head. <laughs> seven floor. Pivot. <laughs> Pivot. Oh, fucking touch. So I was, because it was such a good deal. Yeah, and you can't It was on it. hold for someone else. And I literally yeah. finagled. And I was like, stay here. I will go to TD across the street. Get I was you in cash. Yeah. Bought cash, walked in the store. And I was like, I want the floor model. Gave her cash, walked out. Wow. Businesswoman. That's Johnson & Johnson. Great nine Yeah, I love that for you. Right there. Great nine And <laughs> <Just, laughs> you saved a lot of money. I did. I like, was stoked about it. You will it. not have regrets. The cloud is no, The cloud is so legit. I won't have regrets. I'm, I'm very excited. It shipped out yesterday, so I'm very oh, looking forward to it. Oh, that is stunning. Yeah, and I'm also really excited for LA. What color? Did you get the white? I got white, yeah. yeah I know. It's the, the classic. classic. Yeah. Beautiful. 
yeah, and I'm excited for LA. I'm just like excited to be warm. Totally. And mm -hmm. be in hot weather and get a bit of a tan going yeah. again. Yeah. 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 In Rosebud. What do you, I guess that's, that's what that's she's on. Oh, that was And my cloud couch. And to like have my apartment furnished. Wow. Yes. End of the year. Are you loving living alone? I love, I love living alone. Too. It's literally changed my life. It's so well, good. Well, I lived alone for three years before moving in with Joey. Yeah. And then that was like a brief eight month period of living together, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not even a full lease term, I know yeah. that. It wasn't, um, no, I, I love living alone. Yeah. It's like, I love coming home and no one being there and just like, or just like having all your stuff and you know where it's it is. So like, I just oh, I'm obsessed, it. yeah, mm. same. It's the best. Walking around naked, drinking oh, coffee, all the time. like. I just, hey, I highly recommend it to anyone. I had a, it. I a moment the other day, so you got, you know I'm blind. Like, I mean, I, I can see close up, but then distance is where things become a problem. Like, mm -hmm. I can't see the screen of that. Um, so oh. I should be wearing contacts on the daily. I just, it bothers my eyes. I don't like to do it. I have glasses for driving, but like, I don't want to wear those 24 seven. You also don't drive. And I also never drive. So whatever. <laughs> so I, I just live my life as a blind person for the most part. And I mean, I'm naked in my apartment, like all the time lights on, like oh, yeah. it's a problem. And I always go like, Oh, the building's like kind of nearby. They can't see me like thinking cause I can't see them. <laughs> And then I went on my glasses the other day. I was like, oh, I can like very clearly see into the building across from mine. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I mean, you would think it would change my behavior. It still hasn't. No. But and I think the building. I just accept Building it. is like, you get to know that person. They've seen you naked. Yeah. Totally. Like they know me on I that level. I now live on the second floor. Oh, oh, so the pedestrians get a Pedest view. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and me too, because I overface yeah. the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. So all the pedestrians, and I didn't know it was like a you see me, I see you situation. Mm -hmm. I just thought I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had done some shangsty things in that, in, that in, in the view of the whole, yeah. I won't say my community name, but in, in my community. <laughs> and then I was, I was one of the pedestrians one day, and I looked up, and I go, that was I a show. have been exposed. Yeah. I have put on shows. Yeah, <laughs> so I <laughs> I was filming, not that, like, I was filming a video in front of my window so the, the blinds were up and there were the pedestrians and they were just, like, looking at me and they waved <gasps> and then no I waved way. back. No And then later that day, someone DM'd that I know DMs me being Stop. like, hey, do you live here? And I was like, yeah, why? And they are like, well, I was on the streetcar. No, yeah. like wow. passerby. Passerby. And I saw a girl filming in front of a ring light, and then I just saw your story, and it's you. Whoa. I'm like, I don't that know if I like that. Out. Yeah, yeah, that's scary. Yeah, you can like fully see into my apartment. And then I was standing in front of a restaurant, pointing at my apartment, like talking to my friend, being like, you can see right inside, blah, 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 blah. And then there's these girls at the restaurant who knew who I was. Oh, when you're and like, I'm I like, live there. What am I doing? Like, don't point to your apartment. I know. Yeah. Like, we're yeah. like so it conscious scary. about that. Like, I never say like where I live. I never like no, story I'm an idiot. looking out. <laughs> well, it's just creepy well, because guess, we all yeah. live alone. Like, you don't want people to know exactly where well, you live. It's hard because yeah. I live in like um like there's a lot of windows in my place, so I'm it's very hard how I have to film and like I can't have any mirrors because then you can see out and you can totally see where I live. But I had posted my like home condo tour and I probably got about like three or four comments from people being like oh my god, my friend totally lives in that building, it's blah, 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 and they would like say yeah. it. So I would obviously delete it right away. So yeah. now I have like those words flagged so it doesn't come up, but I'm like, who one would comment that, but then also be like, oh yeah, guys, she lives here. I'm like, also, girl, no, what you doing? I, get that all the, the, I think like, the worst. Why would you put my privacy up like, like? The worst thing that happened with like living is I've obviously moved out of my old place yeah. and someone DM'd me being like, hey, I'm looking at your old unit to like rent it and like, I want to know if there's any problems. And I'm like, That's I get, so I get what you're doing. Like, it's, it's fine. But like, I just went through a breakup. Yeah. You're bringing it up. I don't want to like, be a part of this. I, I don't, don't want to be a part of your move. And I was just like, DM Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Talk he still lives there. Yeah. And then he, Joey was like, yeah, she DM me. And like, he's like, it was just weird. I was like, it, you know, like that's yeah, strange. Well, it's always that weird dynamic too, because these people feel like they know you because you're like, it, it is a weird kind of friendship. One yeah, side, like one side. Some people sometimes overstep, and it's it is I'm weird. Like, to navigate. I just don't want to. It's sad for me to leave that place, right? Totally. Like I put money, like I painted it because totally. I thought I was gonna live there for a long yeah. time. You know? And it's just like I don't need to be like. You don't need to. Be I literally was like, enjoy it. the paint. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, God. that's so sad. <laughs> Oh, the water doesn't work here and enjoy the paint job because it's brand new. Wait, that <laughs> I was thinking about that recently, like how sad I would be if I, when I sell my place mm. or move out, like I will be so sad because mm -hmm. I think about, I mean, I've only been there a year, but you make like really intense memories and like have attachments to certain places and well, certain apartments I've had more attachments to others. The one I lived in like first year, second year university, like huge attachment, cried when I had to leave. Like I met all my good friends at that time. Like mm -hmm. that's when I met like all my favorite people in life and like it, it 
you tie those places to the apartments yeah. and like your yeah. memories. And I was very sad at moving. moving out of my first apartment. Yeah. Like I lived so sad. in this like little one bedroom and it was like so small but like that's like where my career started and that's where I like, it's like special yeah I like had it was the a best shit apartment I lived there, on like the second know? floor of Bay Street it was so loud as hell like it was horrible but like so good at the same time yeah and I was I was very sad I would yeah. I mean, it's too small. I was like, I should have moved back to that apartment. It was so good, but Aww. it's too small. The memes. Well, the scene. But I live across the street from that now. Oh, like, literally, I can iconic. like see full circle. Oh, that's amazing. Sean Mendez released his location last night. Did you see that? Yeah, no. I'm like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Well, you can it? literally tell. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Some people aren't concerned he about privacy. He was showing his He's also computer. Never home. Even if you were a fan trying to figure it out, he was showing his computer and then like kind of lifted it up and you can like see the view of like the oh. neighborhood and. The I'm so like, I, I don't get that. Yeah. No. But he's yeah. like always like. That's one thing that I really love about Toronto yeah. is like, it's not very like fan. Creepy. Yeah, it's not creepy. It's not creepy. People are like, very chill here, which is nice. We were at a restaurant and Sean Mendez was there and we we're all yeah. in the back and like, no one came yeah, up to he's, him. Right. He's who he is. Yeah, yeah he like goes are, at the back. And, like, I think does that's his the own beauty thing. and like that's why I love also being in Canada because the level like it's everyone is just truly. I mean, we have the reputation of being like nice and all that, but it is true. There's like a nice chill vibe about being here that I feel like is mm -hmm. unmatched about any other like big city, and. Um, yeah, like no, I did a, a meetup and they hired security and I was like, you don't need security. I'm like, yeah. you don't. Like, even if like 500 people show up, yeah. everyone they that will follows all line me up. is so, and, yeah, they they will wait and it wasn't even like a lineup situation. Like yeah. it was just be like a shop around and they like formed a beautiful line Aww. and they yeah. all waited and I'm like, you guys are amazing. Yeah. yeah. It always is scary though. It just takes one bad person to like either true. throw off the vibe or someone to expose your yeah. location or do anything creepy that it just throws you off. But I would say 99% of all of our viewers and whatever, everyone is so chill. So and people chill. that I would hang out with uh, if we like ran into each other in a normal situation. 100%, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, thank you Stunning. so much for coming on the yeah, pod. Thank this you. was thank such a really treat. Thanks for potty talking with us. And um, I guess that's it. That's the episode, guys. So yeah, we'll we will leave, leave all, all the, the uh, links to shop if you want to shop. Uncle. All the links will be below. Yeah, yeah. And, and follow Allegra on YouTube and Instagram and all that fun stuff. But yeah, thanks for coming on. This thanks was so for fun. Me. Yeah, yeah, this, this was, was an episode of Potty, Potty Talk, Talk, the podcast where, where we, we should talk, talk ourselves. ourselves. I'm Jack. And I'm Tor. And that was Allegra. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.